Hi, I'm Josh from Arm, and here's a great festive gift from me to you. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the optimizations mobile GPUs deploy to process your game graphics more efficiently. Now, these treats will really help you get the best possible performance on mobile. When a GPU processes geometry, it works out what's going to be visible inside the view volume and discard what's not. This reduces the amount of pixel processing work required. Firstly, triangles that are outside of the camera's view can be discarded. That's because we can guarantee they have no visible impact on screen. Secondly, triangles that are inside the camera's view but facing away from the camera are known as back-facing triangles. These can also be discarded. Only one side of each triangle is visible, representing the outer surface of an object. The other side is almost always invisible because it's inside the object being rendered. You'd expect around 50% of input primitives to be called this way. The geometry that passes the frustum and facing tests goes through to pixel processing. This is where the GPU colors in the pixels to produce the final on-screen output. There are more optimizations that can be applied here too. Triangles have to hit at least one rasterization sample point to be considered visible. Triangles that don't hit one are too small to be rasterized, and yes, you guessed it, they can be discarded. So what happens after rasterization? Early ZS testing, or depth and stencil testing, discards pixels that are hidden by other objects or stencil masks. Culling at this stage is relatively inexpensive, because it happens before any pixels are coloured in. Here's a tip. To get the benefits of early ZS, your app must pass in geometry in a front to back render order. Start at the point closest to the camera and move further away. Now let's look at the late ZS test. It handles any work that couldn't be processed before fragment shading. For example, if a shader programmatically modifies GL frag depth, early ZS testing cannot be used. Note that late ZS testing happens after all the fragment shading work has been done, so it's expensive and should be avoided. Here's something to try. Using the Streamline tool in ARM Mobile Studio, you can see how many primitives were sent to the GPU. It also shows how many are visible on screen, how many were cold, and why. You can also check how much work is being called by early and late ZS testing. Another tip, if you see more than 5% of primitives being called by the sample test, take a look at using mesh level or detail. This will reduce the number of small triangles. Finally, my very last tip before I grab a glass of eggnog, download ARM Mobile Studio, including Streamline for free from developer.arm.com. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your festive holiday.